the driver provides the most distance of any golf club in the bag, or perhaps more accurately, potential distance. Between shank drives that dribble along the ground or careen widely off the fairway, some golfers choose to use their driver sparingly, despite the potential of this club. Before we get started with our video detailing the best golf drivers on the market, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting off with the best overall golf driver, we have the Ping G400 Max Driver. When you're looking for the latest technology in a golf driver, you're usually looking for a Ping driver. Ping has been at the forefront of recent upgrades to drivers, leading the change from a forward center of gravity to a rear center of gravity. Ping's new designs have been popular enough that many other driver companies have followed its engineering changes. Ping's latest driver, the G400 Max, makes use of the rear center of gravity design with just enough engineering tweaks to make this driver a tremendous performer. The sharp-looking Ping G400 will deliver amazing performances for many different levels of golfers. Today's golfer says the G400 Max gives you just a bit more forgiveness in your ball strikes than the G400, which is important for players of any experience level. The Golf WRX review likes the slightly smaller head size of the G400 Max versus other drivers and previous Ping drivers, as the smaller size allows for slightly faster club head speed. At the top of the Ping G400 Max's club face are small raised areas that help to reduce air friction and give you a little more club speed. Even an improvement as small as this can deliver enough of a bump in club speed to give you several more yards on your drive. Golf a lot says the G400 Max continues the tradition of high quality drivers from Ping, giving you just enough improvements over its predecessor to make the G400 the new king of the hill. The G400 isn't cheap, so if you're happy with your current driver, you may want to stick with it. But if you're unhappy with your current driver, and honestly, who isn't a lot of the time, the Ping G400 Max is an amazing piece of golf technology. Next up, we have the best driver for fixing a slice, which goes to the Callaway Rogue Draw Driver. If you've never sliced a golf shot, well, you've probably never played golf. Few things are as frustrating in the game. Sure, you hate leaving that four-footer for birdie short, but at least you made two or three great shots to put yourself in that position. The slice drive almost always means you're in huge trouble off the tee, and you're in for a long, frustrating hole. Callaway's Rogue Draw Driver is good at minimizing the negative effects of a slice. A slice occurs when the face of the driver doesn't strike the ball squarely. Instead, the heel of the club face is ahead of the toe, leaving the club open and causing the ball to leave the driver's face with a side spin. For a right-handed golfer, this spin causes the ball to travel violently from left to right as it goes down the fairway, almost certainly leaving you in the rough, trees, or water hazard. Golf Tech says that Callaway increased the movement of inertia, or MOI, across a wider section of the driver's face, giving it a more forgiving ball strike. If you strike the ball off-center with the rogue draw, you won't be penalized as severely as you would with a less forgiving club face. The rogue draw contains a great amount of weight in the heel of the club versus the toe, which should slow down the heel and help you square the ball better, according to Golf Magazine. Today's golfer says that although you won't be able to see the slice battling technology in the rogue draw, the results are clear. Its tests show that you'll receive 7 yards of draw bias versus last year's Callaway Epic Driver which could mean the difference between battling in the rough and being on the edge of the fairway. The Callaway Rogue Draw Driver does exactly what it promises, according to a buyer named Mr. M, making it easier to stay in the fairway off the tee. Up next, we have the best adjustable driver, which goes to the Wilson Staff C300. Having an adjustable driver may seem odd to golf purists, but golf clubs that allow you to make slight adjustments to the various parts of the club while you're on the course are becoming more popular. One of the most interesting adjustable drivers is the Wilson Staff C300 driver. To start, you can adjust the loft and face angles of the C300 driver by using a twistable cylinder at the hosel of the club, just above the club head. You can change the loft in six different positions, between minus one and plus two degrees with this cylinder. Additionally, the C300 gives you adjustable weights in the club head. By changing the position of these weights, you can give this Wilson driver a draw bias, a fade bias, or a neutral bias for the ball flight. A draw bias causes the ball to spin slightly to the left, a fade bias spins the ball to the right, and the neutral bias reduces side spin. You won't be able to fix significant swing problems by adjusting the position of weights in the club head, but you will receive slightly different ball paths with changes in the location of these weights. As Golf Magazine mentions, another interesting design feature is what the manufacturer calls power holes, which are filled with urethane and provide a greater flex for the club face at impact, which increases the size of the sweet spot. The C300 driver has a great looking shape and rich red color on top of the club. The C300's matte finish reduces sun glare too. 
Golfers who have a high swing speed rate will receive the greatest benefits from the Staff C300 driver, according to Golfalot. However, high handicap players with slow swing speeds probably won't receive much distance benefit from this driver, making it tough to justify its high price point. Because of the low spin rate this club delivers off the face, golfers will receive extra forgiveness for off-center ball strikes, according to the Hacker's Paradise. With a heavier swing weight than some other Wilson drivers, one buyer named DJ179 says controlling the staff C300 is an easier process. Next, we have the best driver for swing forgiveness, which goes to the Cobra King F8 driver. A redesigned club face versus previous versions of Cobra King drivers gives the F8 a more forgiving contact point, which will help mid and high handicap golfers keep their drives in the fairway more often. Cobra's designers have spent a lot of time designing the club face on the F8, creating a titanium face that's 10% lighter than in past versions. According to Golfalot, this helps less experienced golfers generate more swing speed. One buyer named Jim R says the King F8 provides him with 20 to 25 yards of distance improvement over his previous driver. The precise milling and design of the titanium face insert also delivers a slight curvature, which ensures the Cobra driver maintains better exit speed on mishits, as well as a better launch trajectory, according to Golf Digest. This helps the mid to high handicap golfer gain better distance on mishits, and the milling pattern on the face of the Cobra King F8 looks great too, which makes this driver enjoyable to carry in the bag and use. However, as Golf Monthly points out, this pattern on the club face could be distracting for some players. Additionally, it says the improvements in the F8 versus previous versions will come in better accuracy rather than in better distance, which some players won't like. And for our last pick, we have the best affordable driver, which goes to the tailor-made Aero Burner driver. If you're experiencing some sticker shock when shopping for golf drivers, you will want to consider the tailor-made Aero Burner driver, which costs quite a bit less than most drivers, while giving high and mid-handicap players the ability to gain more loft on their shots off the tee. TaylorMade gave the Aero Burner a simple design, but that's usually all most inexperienced players need. It doesn't give you the option of making adjustments to the weight positioning and club face angle, such as you see from more expensive drivers. After all, with a driver in this price range, you shouldn't expect to have many customization options, according to Laser Golf Range Finder. But because the weight balance on the club head is good out of the box, you may not miss the ability to shift the club's weight. Today's golfer says the Aero Burner is built to help the golfer generate as much speed as possible at impact, so even mid and high handicap golfers should be able to gain a bit more distance. The extra loft in the face of the driver will help players gain more of an arc on their drives, says Pro Golf Magazine, which should create a bit more control. Additionally, low shots off the driver, the dreaded worm burner, are a common problem for high handicap players. One buyer named Stanley Parrish says he has been able to keep the ball nicely in play with the Aero Burner without losing any distance. Amazon reviewer John Pickens is one of several reviewers who says the driver didn't last very long though. In golf, it's true that you get what you pay for. So that sums up our top golf drivers. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.